hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you using jQuery how to disable the button control for few seconds now I'm clicking the button control notice the button control is disabled so after three seconds again it's re-enabled the button control that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates I'm using Notepad++ for this video tutorial. Notice in this Notepad++ contains a simple HTML code with some header tags h1, h2 and a horizontal line. And after the horizontal line, I have a button control. Now before adding the jQuery functionality to disable this button control for a few seconds, first let's check the basic output how it looks at designing part on the browser. And this is the output of that code the header tags and the button control. Now let's implement the jQuery when I click the button control for a certain period of time I want to disable this button control. After the time period the button control will be enabled. So when we are implementing jQuery functionality first we require the latest jQuery CDN link. Let's add that one. Search for latest jQuery CDN Google. And from such results, I'm selecting the hosted libraries. In Google hosted libraries, notice at the corner there is a contents panel which contains jQuery. Select that one. Here you can find the different versions of jQuery CDN links. I'm selecting the version 3.3.1. Just copy this thing and add in our HTML header section. After that, I'm adding another script tag for the jQuery functionality. Now in the script, I'm adding the functionality to disable the button control after a few seconds. So I'm adding the function Now in this function, I'm adding the button control disable dollar between double quotes I'm adding the ID of the button control which is but disable when we are adding the control IDs we need to prefix with hash but disable is the ID of the button control dot click function now in this click function when the user click this button control I'm adding the attribute the disable dollar when you double quotes hash but disable dot attribute between double quotes disabled comma disabled so this function when a user clicks the button control it disables the button control now I'm adding the functionality after a few seconds I want to re-enable this button control set timeout function now in this function I'm removing this disabled attribute from this button control after a few seconds so dollar between double quotes hash but disable dot remove attribute is capital disable comma I'm adding 3000 milliseconds 3000 milliseconds which is at 3 seconds after 3 seconds I want to re-enable the button control that's it we have done the complete coding part Let's save this file. We'll check the final output on the browser. Now before reloading the browser, let's click the button control. See the button control is not disabled. Now let's reload the browser. Now I'm clicking the button control. Notice the button control is disabled. So after 3 seconds, again it's re-enabled the button control. That's it.